What's up guys, Nitty Green Mats here and today we are going to do some a video on calculating areas between curves and the first question here, we, we are going to take a integral with respect to x and we're going to do another example with the same equations with respect to y and the first one is determine the area of the the area of the region enclosed by the equation x equals one half y squared minus three and y equals x minus one so I'll give you a second there you can find the area if you choose to do so or I'll show you how to do it right now so what you want to do first is set the equations equal to one another so you can get the point where they intersect so we're going to solve this equation for y so we'll get x plus 3, 2x plus 6, take the whole square root and we'll get y for that. And we set them both equal to one another and we will get x minus 1 equals 2x plus 6, square, uh, square both sides. And we will eventually get something that looks like y squared minus 2y minus 8 is equal to 0 where we will get y is equal to 4 and y is equal to neg 2. So here this tells us where the points are, where they inter where they intersect, where the graphs intersect and if we plug them back into any of these equations we will get one point is neg 1 comma neg 2 and the other point is 5 comma 4. So that tells us a lot of information. This will tell us what limits to use when we do um, do the integral and so I'll draw a rough sketch here on the side and we will see I'll draw the curve so first we have um, a parabola going leftwards and do that something like that and the line here intersects like just like that and as you can see the area in, trapped between them is this right here so we are going to use it um, with respect to, to x and which our x ranges from <coughs> ranges from neg 3 to neg 1 and we know that because the area over here it starts from neg it starts from here because the um, area is bounded here and the intersect and end here at neg 1 from there so or rather yeah neg 1 to 5. So this one is 5, so neg 3. And the way you want to approach this is to identify that the parabola has two functions within it. So if we erase the whole um, equation here, or the whole graph, we can see that our parabola that is opening leftwards is a positive and a negative. Um, what I'm saying, what I'm trying to say here is that this part is square root of 2x plus 6. That's y equals, that's the red part. The green part is y equals negative 2x minus 6. And you're going to say, okay, why is this important? Because as you can see, when it um, intersects the line over here, we will see that the area trapped for with when it intersects at this point here which is um neg 1 comma neg 2 all of this area all of this area here the line is not being is the line is not the one that is in the integral we are going to use the topmost the topmost right here minus the bottommost and when you use sometimes you know when to use respect to y and respect to x using this using respect to y here would be easier which I'll do in the next video a short video because it's real quick but the respect to x you should know how to do it because some questions it'll be easier to do respect to x but this one here you'll see the red part is going to be the top, the square root of 2x plus 6. The bottom here will be negative 
the square root 2x minus 6. So the way we're going to set up this integral is I'll erase everything on top. And what we're going to get here is the area is equal to, equal to, because when we're doing Riemann, they're, they're all approximations. These are all equal. We'll have a neg 3 here. That's where the parabola starts, because the equation is 1 half um, y squared minus 3. So um, what we have here is um, the integral from neg 3 to wherever the, the line and the curve are going to intersect, because that's when the line comes into play and right here the line comes into play and the the top part of the curve here becomes the top function and the bottom the line becomes the, the lower function so we're going to go from neg 3 to neg 1 neg 3 here neg 1 there and we are going to have the top the top right here the top function right here on um, the square root of 2x plus 6 minus minus this bottom function which is negative 2x and negative the square root of 2x minus 6 and when we minus we're going to eventually add but another part of the integral here which is it's getting a little bit messy here but stay with me here the line here is um what we have is um x equals y plus 1. So what we have is, or y equals x minus 1 is the same thing, and um, this line is going to be the lower and the, and the curve will be the top. So we'll, we will have another integral from neg 1 wherever they, they stop intersecting, which is at 4 comma 5, so, um, or 5 comma 4 getting all my numbers mixed up here, 5 comma 4, that's why our, our x will stop at, right here, it will stop at 5, so we, our x, the top, um, the upper limit will reach 5, and, and our, um, will go from 2x minus 6, which is our top, the red part, we don't worry, we don't need to worry about the lower one now, because we're only dealing with the top, and we will minus the, um, right here we need a dx, of course, because we're taking respect to dx with x, and um, we'll get a x minus 1 dx. So that's our integral, and then from here, it's just evaluating. So I'll pause the video here. If you guys want to solve that integral, you feel free to do so, but I'll do it just in a second. Alrighty guys, I hope you pause the video and try to evaluate the integral on your own. If you don't know how to do it, don't be scared, I got you. So the area, we are going to minus and minus, so minus and a negative will get a plus, so we will get the integral from neg 3 to neg 1 of 2 times the square root of 2x plus 6 with dx plus the integral from neg 1 to 5 and when we solve that out we will get a square root a 2 minus 6 we will just distribute the negative and just write a dx there all right and we we can take out the 2 here but one thing we're going to do here is going to be a little bit intuitive but um you can just follow me through here we're going to take out the two, we don't really need to take out the 2 here but we are going to do the neg 3 to neg 1, nothing yet, 2x plus 6 dx, plus the integral from neg 1 to 5, 2x minus 6, and watch now, dx, we will evaluate this as a separate integral, and now we can add the integral from neg 1 to 5 from negative x plus 1 dx. And we can do that because we can, we're adding and subtracting integrals. We can do that. And all we have to do is evaluate this part, the bottom part. And I'm just going to erase the, on the top step here and just evaluate. We are going to use a u sub 
which I'm going to show you right now what the U sub is, is going to be U will be equal to 2x plus 6. I want to get rid of the square root in that integral right there from um, neg 1 to 5, um, negative x plus 1. There is no square root, so, or um, there's no square root, or 2x minus 6. So we can do du is equal to 2 um, dx, and we'll get dx is equal to du over 2. So wherever dx is, we can just put a, on a du over 2. So over here, we will get the area is equal to just divide by 2. The 2's the will cancel out, but we need to change the limits of integration now. So we plug in our x's into the u, and we will get a um, from 0 to 4, and we used um, 2x plus 6 as our u, so we'll get the square root of u, uh, du, plus, and we, we will um, get a du over 2, so we can take out the 1 half, and our limits of integration will change once again, we will get 4 to 16, just plug in neg 1 into this, and 5 into our u equals 2x plus 6, and then we will get a square root u du plus right here is going to be neg 1 to 5 and we can treat this as a neg x plus 1 dx we don't need to change the u or change it to u we can just leave it as x and just evaluate from there and we will eventually get an area an area of 18 but I'm going to try to make this quick since YouTube is really crazy about some 15 minutes um, for a video we will get this right here from 0 to 4 plus u to the third on uh, 3 on uh, 3 over 2 right there and the 2 up top will cancel with the 1 half and we are solving that from 4 to 16 plus 1 half x squared plus x from neg 1 to 5 so when we solve that, we will get an area of 18, and after heavy lifting, we do get a integer value, but <laughs> now in the next video, I'm going to show you how to do this with y, with respect to y, which will take a fraction of the time for you on the test, and um, when you do it and like you have to graph it out to know what function you're dealing with what type of respect you want to do with, with, with x or y or anything like that but that's the end of the video guys i hope you enjoyed hope you learned um integration better but that's the end and peace out